guys, so we're going to have a look at your shoulder mount into Brass Monkey. So to do this move in particular, you need a strong shoulder mount, okay? Because you need to be able to transition your legs, and if you can't quite hold it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So the first thing first, well, I'm just going to show you what it looks like, okay? So I'm going to get into my shoulder mount, um, and then transition into Brass Monkey, show you what it looks like, and then I'll bring it down. Okay, so the first thing first, getting into your shoulder mount, okay? Shoulder mount choppers, chopper legs. You're going to bring both legs over to one side. So whichever side your head is on, take your legs so they're both over the same side as your head, okay? You're then going to lift your hips and hook your inside leg. You're going to make sure that as you hook your outer leg, hooks over the top, so you cross your ankles, okay? So lift your hips, hook your inside leg, outside leg goes over, crosses over the ankles. The reason why I say cross over the ankles, you open your knees, that'll keep uh, avoid you sliding down the pole, but if you push the, or cross your ankles, that extra weight keeps a lock under the knee. Does that make sense? So I'm going to show you again, I'm going to get a little bit lower, so I'll slide down a bit. So from here, so from your shoulder now, we're going to take one leg over to the other side. We'll lift the hips, hook the leg, and then can you see it's not quite hooked, so I'm going to take my other leg behind, cross the ankles, and the weight should help me hook, and I'm going to open my knees. I'm already sliding down my shoulder, and then once I'm more of an inverted position, I can move my hands down so I can squeeze my inner arm onto the pole if I need that extra grip and extend, okay? Once you've got a good lock, you shouldn't need the inside arm, but you can have it there if you want to, okay? So it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. You press your outside hand down, make sure you're pushing through that arm, inside arm squeeze it around, hand around face height, lower your outside leg down, and unhook, okay? So if you don't lift your hips when you take your legs over, you may find that as you try and hook over the pole, that's where you're going to trap your hands, um, and it can feel really fiddly and like scary because like, you can't get your hands out of the way of your legs. Does that make sense? So make sure you chop her, the legs come over, lift the hips. So I'll show you again. I'm just going to get my hair out of the way. There we go. So, <clears throat> so the shoulder, leg comes over. Now, if you try hooking here, it's going to be really difficult. So get the hips up, hook your leg, outside leg comes on, squeeze down, open the knees, slide your hands down, squeeze the inner arm if you need it. If not, you can extend both arms out to the side. Outside hand down, unhook. So I'm going to show you again, but I'll show you from this way, just so you can sort of see a different angle as well. But the most important thing is getting the hips high. Cross the ankles, open the knees. As soon as you start opening the knees and you slide your shoulder down, you'll start to turn on the pole and that's completely normal because you're, you're not quite in the right position until you turn on the pole. So if you're turning and panicking, don't, don't panic. Just keep that good lock on the knee and you'll turn into the right position. So again. Chopper. Legs over. Hips up. Hook your leg. Outside leg comes on top, so cross the ankles, open the knee, slide your shoulder down as well as your hands, and then move your hands even lower, and then extend your arms out to the side, keeping that good lock. Hands down, squeezing the inner arm on, outside leg comes off, and then um, keeping strong in that arm, and you'll be okay to out. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Like I said, take both legs over to the side of your head, lift the hips, hook your inside leg, open the knees, cross the ankles, and you'll feel that good grip behind your knee. But if you've got any problems, give me a shout with that. Um, but yeah, so make sure you post your videos. If you're working on that, post your videos, I can have a look at it, and then if you need any extra adjustments, I can I tell you then. Does that make sense? So hopefully that's helpful for you to guys get on with it. Alrighty, I'll see you later. Bye.